welcome back to my channel. So today we are working on dress number two out of my series of making three different prom dresses for absolutely no reason. And I'm really excited about this one because the fabric for it is so pretty. I can't wait to show you guys. And this one is going to be the intermediate kind of technical difficulty, I think. The first one was really easy. It was pretty beginner friendly. And the last one is going to be very, very technical. So this one's kind of the in-between. But I am still really, really pumped about this one because I'm doing a design that I've never really done before. So this is the beautiful fabric I'm using today. And believe it or not, this actually was a bed sheet that I bought on Amazon. But look how pretty it is. I really wanted to do something that wasn't just a solid color for prom to give you guys a little bit more variety and I think this will just be really really fun to wear. But I honestly didn't know where to get like a really fun print so I just headed to Amazon and bought a full fitted sheet. So what I ordered came with one regular bed sheet, one fitted bed sheet, two pillowcases, and two white pillowcases. And I am really really happy with the fabric that I purchased. And honestly when I first got it in the mail I was really disappointed because it felt really stiff and like a tablecloth. But I ended up washing it with some fabric softener which helped tremendously and now it is super soft. And I think it's going to just be like the most gorgeous dress ever. And because it came with two sheets I have so much fabric here to work with. So I'm really hoping I can make this into a giant skirt because I think I can totally make the bodice out of the pillowcases just fine. And then the only other piece I really have to cut out is the sleeves and then the rest is for the skirts. And I was also really happy that it came with the white ones because I can totally use this as lining pieces which is going to be super awesome and will also be saving us on some fabric. So with that, I think it's time to go cut out all the pieces. Because this fabric was originally a sheet, there's a few things we have to do first to like get it to work like regular fabric. So the first thing I did is I took our fitted sheet and I just put a little slit into it and then I pulled out all of the elastic around it and you want to save that for later because I'm actually going to use it in the dress. The next thing I did is I took the sides of the fitted sheet and they're all kind of sewn to give it a box sort of shape. So I just cut those all off so that we would have a big flat piece of fabric to work with. And Chloe quickly decided to make that her little like nesting area. So move her to the side and keep working. The next pieces I worked with were the pillowcases and I just cut off the side seams again so we would have another big piece to work with. And some pieces you might have to do a little bit of seam ripping if there's like a really big folded over edge. So on the pillowcase I just took that really thick part and undid it with my seam ripper so we would have even more fabric to work from. And after I made all those adjustments we can finally start cutting out all the pieces. So I measured and cut out all the pieces and here they all are for you guys. So the first pieces you're going to cut out are all of the front pieces. So here we have the center and the side pieces. And for each one that you cut out of your printed fabric you're also going to cut those out of the white fabric from the pillowcases. And that will be your lining. Next up here is the back piece and it's really basic, it's basically just a rectangle except one of the sides kind of slants down a little bit. This is the most complicated part because this is going to go all around the top edge of the bodice. So the top one is the front part and the bottom one is the back part. And I will show you guys this later in the video but I did end up kind of adjusting these pieces. So the more important part is getting the curved edge of the bottom, don't really worry about like the boxy part on the top piece. And again this dress has pockets which everybody loves. So these are the little pocket pieces. And then this big rectangle piece is for the sleeves that we're going to do and they are definitely my favorite part. They turned out so pretty. And then the very last piece is our gigantic skirt piece. This is by far the biggest skirt I have ever made or worn. And you're going to cut two out of these pieces on the fold of your fabric. So you should have two pieces that unfold into literally gigantic skirts. And now it's time to finally put it all together. Okay, time to start sewing up this dress. So pretty much like always, the first step is to take your center piece and two side pieces and we're just going to sew these parts together to make up the front bodice. And I'm going to do that on the regular fabric as well as the lining pieces. And now we need to sew a dart down the back. So the way I'm going to do this is just fold the back piece in half Mark out a dart that is about 8 inches long and goes in just a little bit and then I'm going to sew those on all of the back pieces. And now we're going to sew the back pieces to the front piece. I'm just going to take our back piece and the back part that is slightly slanted connects to the side piece. So I'm just going to pin them together and sew down either side. And who would have guessed we're doing the same thing on the lining piece. Now I'm going to work with this little top piece that I cut out and I wasn't totally sure of the shape that I was going for when I first cut this out so I think I'm going to just trim it a little bit. I'm just going to take a little bit off of the top and then make it curve down getting rid of this harsh edge here. Mm -hmm. 
and I really have to figure out how exactly I want this to work. What I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one of our pieces and I'm going to pin the smaller edge basically so that when it folds up it's exactly where the top is now. I'm going to put it about two inches from the top I'd say, make sure that it's even and pin it around. And when we get to the slope of the armhole, I think I'm just going to make this kind of follow that line, but at a more gradual slope. So when we fold it up, we have this cute little gradual line here. And when it reaches this seam here, I'm going to take the back pieces that we cut out, and I'm going to pin these together so that when they're sewn, it lines up right on that seam. And now I'm going to sew these together. I'm going to continue pinning this along the back piece here. And now I'm going to sew all along the top edge here. And we're going to do the same process on the lining again. And it's really important to make sure that we keep these pieces as even as possible because it'll make it a lot easier when we match up all the seams later. <laughs> I'm gonna put the bodice pieces aside for a hot minute and work on the sleeves. So these right now are just our gigantic rectangles, so I'm going to put the ends together and sew down the sides. Because the sleeves don't have a lining, I'm also going to zigzag the raw edges just so it doesn't fray too much. And next I'm just going to do a little hem on the top edge of the sleeves. I'm going to add a little bit of boning to the lining piece just to give the bodice a little more structure. So this is some boning I just bought on Amazon and it just comes in this big roll. So I just cut it into little pieces that fit where I want it to go. And I went ahead and rounded out the top edge because we don't want it poking through the fabric on accident. And I'm just going to put this down the side seam, leaving a little bit from the top so we have enough seam allowance. And I'm just going to very carefully top stitch it down either side. And now it's time to put both bodice pieces together. So I laid them down pretty side to pretty side and I just pinned the tops together, making sure to line everything up. And now I'm just going to go ahead and sew all the way across. And I also marked out a line that was one and a half inches from the other seam, just to make sure that the band would be even all the way around. And we have our fully lined bodice. Now I'm just going to take this to the iron and iron out the top seam. Now I'm going to take the sleeve and the side that we hemmed I'm going to take the center seam and I'm going to match it up to the side seam of the bodice. And I'm going to line it up so that the top edges are right next to each other. And then I'm going to sew this for two and a half inches really close to the top edge. For the sleeve to get that scrunching effect, I'm going to use some of the elastic that we took out of the fitted sheet. And I cut this to fit comfortably around my arm to my shoulder so that it wouldn't be too snug and I can still move my arm. And the way I'm going to stitch this on is I pinned the beginning and end of the elastic to where we stopped sewing the sleeve to the bodice. And then I'm going to pull it as I stitch around it to gather it all up. I'm also going to sew this a little bit away from the top edge just so we get a cute little ruffle. Okay, we're back at it today and I am so happy because I had a very long week of school, but now it's finally sewing time. So we finished doing the top part of the sleeves and they look really, really cute. And now I'm basically going to do those same exact steps on the bottom part of the sleeves by hemming it and then stitching around more elastic. But because these sleeves are so big, I might have to do a little bit of gathering before I sew the elastic just to make sure I can get it tight enough. And this time the elastic should fit snugly around your arm. Next up we have to attach the pockets to the skirts. So this is the top of one of our skirts and I'm going to take one of the sides and I'm going to take one of our pocket pieces and I'm going to line up the sides together and I'm going to put it six inches away from the top edge of the skirt. And I'm going to pin it in place and sew down just this side right here. And I'm going to do that on the other side of this skirt and also on the other skirt piece as well. The little pocket flaps are all sewn now, so I'm going to lay out the first skirt piece like this and take the second one and lay it on top. The way that we sew around the pocket is by flipping this seam up like this, and then sewing really close to the seam that we sewed to sew the pocket flaps on. We're going to sew a little bit in from that seam so we don't catch it, and we're going to start from the top of the skirt, sew in about a centimeter, cut your thread and start again on this side, again about a centimeter in, and then sew all the way down to sew all the sides together. The 
thing to do on the sleeve is to basically just sew around the perimeter. So I'm going to put some pins all around it to hold it in place a little bit better. Basically, I'm just going to start from the seam we just sewed, sew all the way around it, and then stop at the other seam. And now we've got every girl's favorite, pockets! I just went ahead and zigzagged all the raw edges of the skirt because we're obviously not putting a lining in this and the fraying was getting a little bit out of control. And then I also folded the back piece in half and just cut a 9 inch slit in it so that we can put the zipper in later. And now it's time to finally attach the top to the skirt. When I cut this skirt out, I made the waist obviously very big because I wanted to add a few pleats in it. So I'm going to attach all of the side seams first so we can figure out how much we need to take in for the pleats. I'm also lining up the centers and the backs. Once it's all pinned, you're going to have these big gaps, which is exactly what we want. I think I'm going to form my pleats on the seams of all these like little in-between gaps. So I'm just going to fold the piece over, and I'm also going to form the pleats so that it faces in towards the center of the waist. Once I have my pleat, I'm going to pin it in place. So I'm going to make four of these pleats all along the waistline. After those are all pinned in place, I'm just going to sew right across the bottom. I am so in love with this dress, you guys. It is so beautiful. And now I'm going to just put an invisible zipper down the back, making sure to get as close as we can to that little cutout that we made, and lining up the waist seams. Lastly, all that's left to do on this dress is to finally hem it! <laughs> Whoopsie. Hem it! I'm pretty sure this is by far the biggest skirt bottom I've ever made, so I'm gonna be here a while. And with that, we have another finished dress. And this honestly might be my favorite dress I've ever made so far. It is so pretty, you guys. I'm so excited. And here is the big reveal. I seriously think this might be my favorite dress I have ever made. It is just so gorgeous. And I had so much fun modeling it because I also wore it with a petticoat, which you guys don't have to do. You can also wear it without one. It was also very pretty, but it just made it like so fluffy and princessy. And I'm kind of obsessed with the sleeves. I wasn't sure how well they were going to work out, but I think they're so fun. And especially with the print of the fabric, I think it's just a very like unique and fun prom dress. And I also thought this dress would work really well for like senior balls and stuff. And the day I was modeling this, it was actually super windy, so I felt like kind of a giant kite, but it was kind of funny. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and maybe give this dress a try because it is so fun and I seriously cannot believe that this fabric was a sheet. Like it looks so good and so expensive and I think it's really really unique and fun for prom. And I really hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And I will see you guys back here next week for dress number three.